Hi. How's it going? Where have you been? What the fry bread? Hi and hello to you and all my relatives and welcome to the teepee. It's been done before, you know, people appropriating our culture, appropriating our design and our aesthetic. But again, you have to think, where's the line between using it as inspiration or just using it badly? Which, by wearing a headdress, you're using it badly. I will leave a definition down there if you don't know why you shouldn't wear a headdress. But how did the year in headdresses go? In March, Harry Styles wore one for a hot minute on Twitter, and then it was deleted after a few of his fans, of course, said something. In March, we had Christina Phelan of Pink Pony. In April, Alessandra Ambrosia. Porn star, you think? I don't know. Just with a name like Ambrosia, I would think porn star. But no, she's some model, but she was getting ready for Coachella or some festival, and she tweeted a picture uh, in a headdress. In June, we had our second time offender again, Khloe Kardashian, who wore a headdress next to a teepee at Kim Kardashian's Kid Chella for the baby's first birthday. Okay, you do it once, okay, fine, but you do it twice, you know what you're doing. A media whore, okay? Oh, but wait, I'm sorry, she's a Kardashian. In June, we had Teresa Palmer. Who? I know, I know that's what you're saying, who? If you've watched Hard Bodies, no, again, sorry, no, <laughs> Warm Bodies. She's the actress from that, and it was for a magazine shoot. Okay, why don't stylists, magazine people, get the freaking clue that you can't do that? That's not right, okay? In July, you had Bass Coast Festival come out saying, you can't wear a headdress to our festival, which was a big stand for them, but they were also on native land. So that would have made it a little more awkward, especially because they have tribal members at the concert educating people. In July, you had another fashion faux pas from Elle magazine in the UK, where they insisted Pharrell wear a headdress instead of his big old mounty hat that he normally wears. And but, hold the phone, it's okay because Pharrell's native. So we're good. In August, we had a fashion show again where there was a lot of the models wearing headdresses. It was Trelise Cooper and that was down in Australia. So I guess it's okay if she's Aborigine, right? In September, you had Kaylee Cuoco wearing, I don't know what she was wearing, but it was kind of tribally looking. In October, you have the usual Pocahoochies, but you also had Glenn Beck, who said, yeah, he's all for wearing headdresses and it's okay, and he is totally with the owner from the Washington R Words team, and screw those Indians. Okay, wait, I don't think he said that last part. And in October, you had Ellie Goulding, who Instagrammed her Halloween costume. Melanie Dowding, who is a model, okay, but she took it one step further. Her face was like, ripped off. In December, you had Ralph Lauren's assimilation aesthetic. Why? How? And how does nobody stop them? How does nobody in PR go, you know what? That's probably not good. I guess a lot of people are of the mindset it's better to beg forgiveness than to ask for permission. Because that's what everybody seems to do to get their 15 minutes of fame. Regardless of if it's good or bad. Oh! Oh wait! Wait! Hold on. What the 